Welcome to your Monday Morning Pearl. I'm Steve Keck. Apparently last week I really hit a nerve when I started to talk about weaponized incompetence. So I wanted to go a little deeper this week and help you understand how to separate yourself from this type of behavior when you're trying to grow as a salesperson. Weaponized incompetence is when you actively perform poorly at a specific area so that someone else will just basically give up on asking you to do it. A perfect example of this is I'm a professional uncle. I have about 11 nieces and nephews. I have managed to only change one diaper in all of their lives. The way I did that was I often handed it off to grandma or I said, I can't do that. And I got them to not ask me to change the diaper of my infant niece or nephew. And I basically weaponized the incompetence of being not a parent to get myself out of something I didn't feel like I wanted to do. The one diaper I did change, did it right the first time. So who knew? I didn't even have a problem. I just chose to create one. And so what I did is I actually weaponized the incompetence so that I could take a shortcut in a relationship of taking care and loving people that I care about. And it's so easy to do this in sales. Inherently as salespeople, we tend to be lazy. We like to take the fastest route to get to the conclusion. And so what often gets left on the side is the good discipline or a great sales process that we actually don't even give an opportunity to try or see work in our lives. And so we shortcut our experience by getting to the solution without going through the process. Two things typically impact why you would choose to weaponize incompetence and not grow as a salesperson. And the first one is often your identity. An identity really wraps around, do you give someone else the opportunity to define your value? This often happens in your first job where your boss sort of tells you whether you're doing, doing a good job or not, what you're good at, what you're not good at. The problem is, is if they're not skilled in understanding how to recognize your value, you may be getting a skewed picture. They might even be creating an opportunity for you to weaponize incompetence, either by keeping them in the dark about the things that you are doing or aren't doing well. And so you actually eliminate your ability to grow by managing your boss. This is disingenuous, but the thing I want you to understand about this is your value is not defined by your boss or your company. It's not even defined by your numbers. And if you can separate those two, you can give yourself over to the process that's necessary to be successful at this particular company. You will bring what you bring to the table, how you bring it to the table, and what you value as a collective benefit to the company, but they don't get to define it. They can influence how it's expressed by which process you need to do, which steps you need to take, how you execute sales, but they can't change the core. And that's important for you to understand because when you feel like someone's attacking your core, you protect yourself and you start to weaponize incompetence. And the second thing that you need to understand about how to avoid weaponizing incompetence is that your career is not a solo sport. We all grow in a community. Sales is relational. Therefore, you need to build a community of people who help you stay true to the disciplines of a good sales process. That means read books by experts in the field. Build a community of people in your same industry that can help you figure out new ways to enhance your sales process and improve your discipline. Work with coaches such as myself or other people at Span the Chasm. Find opportunities to, to build a community who constantly improve your skill sets. There's a phrase that says, iron sharpens iron. The best relationships are gonna actually challenge you. They're gonna call you out when you're trying to cut the corners. They're gonna encourage you and they're gonna give you guidance and they're going to lean on you to, give, to allow you to give them guidance. It's a two-way street and it's a relationship. So you need to foster these in your life because trying to do this all by yourself will leave you all by yourself. So stop weaponizing incompetence and set yourself up to thrive. And as always, if your team needs to root out weaponized incompetence, give us a call. Let's have a conversation. We'd love to help you create an environment where your sales team thrives. 
You can find us on our website or one of our social channels.